What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. What I have for you today is an MC edit filter, which allows you to turn most redstone and command block contraptions into one command block. This is inspired by IJA Minecraft's one command block videos. You will find a link in the video description. And if you want to use this filter, please watch the whole video now, because there are um, several traps which you could easily um, fall for. So yeah, just watch this video and if you still have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. First of all, I'm here in the world um, where I have developed my grappling hook concept. And the way it works is basically that we have a fishing rod and once you right click, um, it's basically just uh, going to teleport us where uh, the head of the fishing rod goes. And this is powered by these two fill clocks. Please note that this filter only supports fill clocks, nothing else, no hopper clocks and no redstone and also no entities like armor stands. But since everything, as far as I know, is possible um, with only command blocks and fill clocks, this should not be too big of a problem. Now the first thing which is important is to deactivate the fill clock. So um, we have to first disable the stone part, so all of that stays um, with redstone. And then we have to delete these command blocks so that the filter um, doesn't accidentally include them. Um, we're going to do the same for the second clock. You can actually have as many clocks as you wish. Okay, so um, these are the command blocks which will be powered 20 times a second and they will be powered in the order that they would be powered with these fill clocks as well. So the filter basically goes from a, a negative to a positive x and then from negative to positive z etc and the common blocks down there are being executed before the common blocks um, up there. And this is the direction or the order in which the command blocks get triggered. But of course, if you want to have one command block, um, which basically does all of the work for you and sets up the structure, um, there are usually some preparations you need to do. For example, in this case, we have scoreboard objectives, which we need to add. Because when a player um, just loads this in his world, we do not want him... Um, we do, we do want the system to work, even if there are uh, required scoreboard objectives. So what we do is um, we simply add the scoreboard objectives using these commands, of course, the scoreboard objectives add commands, and just put down some command blocks um, next to our structure. The command blocks which are not next to a redstone block when the filter is run um, will be only executed once, which means uh, when the structure spawns first. And all of the command blocks that are next to um, a redstone block uh, will be powered 20 times a second. So this is um, everything we actually need. Now there are some options which we might want to have. For example, if we want some nice signs in front uh, of the structure, just to uh, show people uh, what this actually is or to make them uh, able to give themselves a grappling hook, what you could do is add some signs to your world. Um, and I recommend using the JSON sign generator, which I once created. The link is of course in the video description or you can just click somewhere here now because this is a pretty nice tool which allows you to easily create JSON signs with colors and such. Okay, and maybe we finally want to have uh, a command uh, which tells everybody in the world that um, the machine has finished building. Grappling hooks are now available. So I just uh, add a simple telraw command to these command blocks, which will get triggered only once. Now, let me just uh, go to MC Edit real quick. And here in MC Edit, uh, I have actually prepared um, 
these signs which I'm just going to import. Uh, you can of course put down your own ones and then I'm just going to have these signs there. Okay now how do I apply the filter? Well this is uh, not as hard as it s might seem. What is going on here? I've lost control over my mouse. Good. So basically you need to select all of the command blocks that have to be involved in your structure. So first of all um, we're just going to select these and then we hit filter and go to 2 one command. Then we hit filter again and it's going to add one command block into our clipboard. So if we hit control and V and hit enter you see this is now the command block with the one command which we need. Now we just hit save and go back to Minecraft. So as you know these clocks are turned off so they cannot do anything for you. And if I would actually do scroll objectives remove just remove some of them. And you see this is the command block with uh, the command you can just um copy and paste this command onto paste bin because when a player loads this into his world and powers it it's going to spawn the whole structure. You see, this is pretty nice, isn't it? So, these signs which I have pasted here, um, say grappling hooks by crash pixel, right click to get a hook, and these are of course the exact same signs that are here on the structure. So, what has been created? First of all, these are some temporary command blocks, or they just get executed once because this clock here is not filling. Um, well unless you break something because this is the main redstone wall over here which is basically doing all of the important stuff and the command blocks which we had over here are actually hooked up in the correct order um, to this bigger fill clock now like this you see and yeah so giving this command to anyone in your world will make grappling hooks work you see, can easily use it, and even if I were to go to a new world, it would still work. So, the download link for this filter is of course in the video description. If you have any questions, ask in the comments, and if you have any cool creations made with this MC Edit filter, you can also post them down below. It's always nice when a de developer sees his work being of use to somebody. So, thanks for watching. Check out IJA Minecraft's one command videos because they are pretty nice and expect some similar videos from me coming in the future as well. So thanks for watching and as always see you in the next video. Bye!